Hello everyone. So we are going to solve this problem related to the mass attached to a spring. So let's say this is a spring and some mass is attached to it. Now the position of this mass is given by this function, where the positive values of x represent position below the equilibrium position. So first of all we have to understand what is equilibrium position. So equilibrium position is the position of the mass when mass where mass becomes stationary as t tends to infinity. So if we drop this mass, then after some time it will become stationary or let's say when t tends to infinity, it will approach towards a specific position. That position is called equilibrium position. Now every distance will be measured from the equilibrium position. So if, if we say x equals to 2 and equilibrium position is this, then we are 2 units below the equilibrium position. And if we say x equals to minus 1, then we are 1 unit above the equilibrium position ok so now let's read the question uh, then assume that mass begins moving at t is equals to 0 when does the mass reach its highest point ok so if mass reach mass mass reach its highest point that means x has the maximum negative value because maximum negative value means the mass uh, has the highest height and maximum positive value of x means the maximum down the mass can go ok so now we want to find the t we want to find the time where x takes minimum value let's say ok so uh, to do that we have to understand the graph of this function so we start at t is equals to 0 if we put t is equals to 0 then we get x equals to 3 ok and what does x equal to 3 mean x equal to 3 means that that uh, we are starting 3 units below the equilibrium position so let's say if this is the equilibrium position then we are starting 3 units below ok so when we drop it the mass will go up because we are starting from below the equilibrium position ok so at t is equals to 0 x is 3 so at t is equals to 0 x is 3 so we are starting somewhere from here and now when we drop this mass it will go up ok and it, if it if it goes up then values of x will decrease ok it will decrease and after some time it will start coming down ok so after that the value of mass will uh, the value of x will increase when it starts coming down again so it will go on and on like this but every time the amplitude of the of the cycle let's say will be decreased the amplitude of the oscillation will be decreased so the maximum negative value will arrive at the first stationary point ok so we want to find the value of the t at first stationary point ok so to find the stationary point we uh, want to calculate the derivative and then put it equals to 0 so this is our xt 3e power minus 2t cos t. Now let's say we want to take the derivative, then x dash t is equals to 3 is common. Then derivative of e power minus 2t is minus 2 e power minus 2t and cos t as it is plus then derivative of cos t is minus sin t. So let's write minus sin t here and e power minus 2t as it is ok so we can take minus common minus as well as e power minus 2t so minus 3 e power minus 2t into uh, cos t plus sin t ok uh, sorry 2 will be here ok 2 cos t plus sin t is that right let me check it again uh, derivative uh, derivative of this is this and cos t as it is then plus derivative of cos t is minus sin t and this as it is ok so now if you put it equals to 0 if you put this equals to 0 then this term cannot be 0 because exponential uh, term cannot be 0 that's why this term has to be 0 ok so 2 cos t plus sin t is equals to 0 that means sin t is equals to minus 2 cos t ok 
and sin t over cos t is equals to minus 2 okay and uh, then tan inverse sorry uh, tan t is equals to minus 2 so finally we will have so we have tan t is equals to minus 2 and by using the trigonometric formulas we can say t is equals to tan inverse minus 2 plus pi n where n is a integer now we are interested in the first stationary point so uh, if we put n equals to 0 then t is equals to tan inverse minus 2 okay and that that makes t negative so that doesn't make any sense because uh, t represents the time so if we put n equals to 1 then we have t is equals to tan inverse minus 2 plus pi so that will be the first stationary point okay we can put n equals to 2 that is also positive that will also make t positive but that is not the first stationary point that will be the second and so on so uh, the first stationary point is that t is equals to this and at this point the mass will have the highest high okay so option c is the correct answer